Welcome to another one of our Bluebeam Me Up How To Tutorials, brought to you by Brighter Graphics Limited, where we show you how to maximize the potential of your investment in Bluebeam Review. Brighter Graphics are the oldest established Bluebeam partner and your premium Bluebeam solutions provider. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to show you how to use flags in Bluebeam Review. Flags provide a mechanism for easily navigating to specific pages and places in a PDF and are available in the Flags panel. Any existing flags are shown in the Flags panel along with a toolbar that contains the tools for making and editing flags. The Flags toolbar contains the tools needed to create, edit, and delete flags on a PDF. Flag, adds a new linked flag. Add, adds a new unlinked flag. Delete, deletes the selected flag. Action, adds an action to the selected flag. Properties, shows the selected flag's properties. Flags may be either linked or unlinked. There are a few, key differences between the two. Linked flags are associated with a flag markup that is visible on the PDF and in the markups list. Unlinked flags are not. This means that unlinked flags are only visible in the flags panel. The hyperlink symbol appears on the right of linked flags in the flags panel. Unlinked flags have no such symbol. Linked flags have a set action that jumps to the location of the flag in the PDF. Unlinked flags can have any action. To add a linked flag, click flag on the flags panel toolbar. Click a point on the PDF where you want the flag to appear. A flag appears in the flags panel and on the PDF page. Enter a title for the flag, if desired. The title can be set later in the flag properties, if necessary. Because the linked flag is a markup, it can be moved, resized and its properties, including font style, line style, and direction, can be changed like any other markup. To insert an unlinked flag, navigate to the desired location of the PDF document. Click Add on the Flags Panel toolbar. A flag will appear in the Flags Panel list with the page number as the default title. Enter a new title, if desired. The title can be set later in the flag properties, if necessary. Both linked and unlinked flags have a set of flag properties that determine the title of the flag as well as its appearance in the Flags Panel. Flag properties are distinct from the markup properties of a linked flag, which control the appearance of the flag's associated markup, including font style, line style, and direction. To change flag properties, select the desired flag in the Flags panel and click Properties on the Flags panel toolbar. The Flag Properties dialog box opens. Alternatively, right-click the desired flag in the Flags panel and select Properties. Change any of the following properties, as desired. Edit the flag's title in the title field. For linked flags, this will change the name that appears in both the flags panel and the associated markup. They cannot be different. Click the color square to the right of color and select a new color. For linked flags, this will change the color in both the flags panel and the associated markup. They cannot be different. Click B to the right of style to make the text bold. Click I to make it italics. Both can be selected at the same time. For linked flags, this will change the text style in the flags panel only. To change the text style of the associated markup, go to its markup properties. Setting a flags action. Unlinked flags only. The default action of an unlinked flag is to jump to the page on which the flag was set, but this action can be changed. The action of a linked flag is predefined to jump to the location of the flag in the PDF and cannot be changed, though the flag can be moved within the PDF. To set the action of an unlinked flag, click an unlinked flag in the Flags panel to select it and click Action on the Flags panel toolbar or right-click the desired flag and select Action. The Action dialog box opens. Define the desired action and click OK. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the how-to series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics, welcome your feedback to help us to improve.